All right, so I'm building a heated pressure pot. And this is a silicone flexible heater inside of a Binks um, high quality pressure pot. And I've managed to route the wires inside and everything, so I got that all set up. But now I need to insulate this. And one of the options I was looking at was ceramic insulation, like kiln, kiln insulation, which has a very high temperature rating, which is not that important. But I think the problem is that it's fragile and you're not really supposed to, ha to handle it that much or touch it. It makes, makes, can make dust and stuff. So it comes in blanket form, like in sort of like fabric, but you're supposed to kind of encapsulate it if you are going to be exposed to it. So one of the other options I was looking at is this carbon fiber blanket, because I wanted something that was uh, insulating and could take high heat. Although this is only going to be like 150 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit in here, so up to about 100 C, I still wanted something that could take the heat and I wouldn't have to be, worry about it. So this carbon fiber blanket is sold for purposes of uh, insulating from welding sparks. And it actually says welding felt carbon fiber blanket heat resistant up until 1800 degrees Fahrenheit or 1000 degrees Celsius. It's pretty cool stuff. It's like, it's not itchy like fiberglass blankets are. It's, uh, it's very much looks like felt. Now I still think you need to be careful like this. You don't want to disturb the stuff too much. It could be a breathing hazard, but let's see. Let me just take it out of the bag here and take a closer look at it. I just want to mention that there's a lot of them out there that are made in China and not really good quality. Who knows what kind of quality. This is made in the USA. Hopefully that means that there's better quality standards. It has pretty good reviews. Some, some people mentioned that they still got some like melt, burn through or melt through. But since I'm not gonna be using this for welding, I'm not too worried about that. But it's a pretty thick felt. It says about, it says three millimeters thick. I think that's pretty generous. Uh, as far as the thickness, we can take a look at it here with the calipers. The, the thickness rating is very generous, which is, you know, unusual for stuff like this. Like, I'm measuring it like fluffed up almost six millimeters, but if you compress it, it compresses down about three millimeters or so. So that's, that thickness is almost like a compressed thickness. That's nice, pretty generous thickness rating. And I've seen people buy this stuff to use on their grills, to cover their grills. And that's not the grills on their teeth, it's the cooking grills to cover those up and hold the heat in and it won't burn. Um, they'll send up to the heat of the grill and they'll insulate the grill too. It's like a felt, can pull like fibers off. Looks just like fabric. It's not like glass fibers, it's not sharp. But again, like probably not something you want to be breathing in. So just be cautious about that. What I might do is find like a, a fabric to uh, put around this. But let's see, the size of it, it's supposed to be three feet by three feet, 36 inches by 36 inches, 36 inches. So it's like one yard by one yard. It looks like good quality material. So I'm gonna probably put two layers inside of this pressure pot to line the outside of the pressure pot and a, at least a layer on the bottom to line that. 36, I haven't stretched it out exactly, by 36. 